Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about the extended transition function of DFA. Extended transition function of DFA is represented by delta cap. In previous tutorial, we studied about normal transition function. Output of normal transition function describes where the machine would be after reading an input symbol, after reading a single input symbol from the current state. But in extended transition function, second argument of extended transition function is a string of input symbols and its first argument is present state. Its output would be the state in which the machine would be after reading the string of input symbols from the present state. Now see this. Output of extended transition function for state Q1 and a string of input symbols W is Q2. It means when the machine is in state Q1, right, and it reads a string of input symbols W it will jump to state Q2. This transition function is different from normal transition function. Normal transition function gives the transition for single input symbol and extended transition function gives the transition for a string of one or more input symbols. Right. Now see, if the present state of machine is Q1, right, machine is in Q1 state and it reads a string of input symbols W and after reading this string of input symbols W, it comes in state Q2. So it can be described as delta cap Q1 W equals to Q2. Right. Now see this DFA. Its initial state is Q0 and its final state is Q3. Now we have to find out the output of extended transition function for state Q0 and a string of input symbols 0, 1, 0. Its output would be the state in which the machine would be after reading the input symbols string 0, 1, 0 from state Q0. Now the machine is in state Q0. So we have to find out its output. We have to find out where the machine would be after reading this string of input symbols. See, present state is Q0. First, it will read the first input symbol of this string, that is 0. After reading 0, when machine is in a state Q0, it will jump to state Q1, right? Now, after reading 0, it has come in a state Q1. Now, it has to read second input symbol of this string means it has to read input symbol 1. After reading 1, 
it will jump to state Q2 right now the machine is in a state Q2 now it has to read third symbol of this string it means now it has to read 0 when the machine is in a state Q2 and it reads 0 it jumps to state Q3 right so after reading this string right when its present state is Q0 the machine will jump to the state Q3 so output of extended transition function for state Q0 and for a string 0 1 0 is Q3 now see if the output of extended transition function for input initial state and a string of input symbols W is some final state then W is accepted by that DFA it means when a DFA is in its initial state and we apply a string of input symbols and after reading the string of input symbols it jumps to the some final state then we can see this that string of input symbol has been accepted by the DFA right so a string is accepted by DFA when it drives the DFA from its initial state to any one of its final state right now the set of all string accepted by the finite automata is the language of that finite automata now suppose this is the TFA whose initial state is Q0 and its final state is Q2 now we have to find out whether the string 0 1 0 is accepted by this DFA or not so what will we do we will apply this string 0 1 0 to its initial state and if reading this string this DFA jumps from its initial state to the final state then this string will be accepted by this DFA otherwise it will be rejected by this DFA so we have to find out the output of extended transition function for input initial state Q0 and a string of input symbols 0 1 0 now the present state of machine is Q0 first it will read 0 after reading 0 it will jump to state Q1 from state Q0 now it has come in a state Q1 now it has to read input symbol 1 after reading 1 it will jump from Q1 state to Q2 right now it has to read input symbol 0 now after reading input symbol 0 it will jump from Q2 state to Q1 so when it is in state Q2 and it reads 0 it will jump to state Q1 right so the output of this extended transition function will be Q1 here Q1 is a non-final state so this string 0 1 0 will not be accepted by this DFA thank you very much